Ladies and gentlemen, Visual Studio Code is an excellent tool for building all kinds of software, and it comes out with new features very, very frequently. Now, the tough part about that is keeping up with all those new features, and that is why I am Brian Clark, and you are watching the release highlights video for July 2019. Let's jump right into those features. Many times when you're searching and replacing specific text in your code, you want to keep the existing case and only replace the characters within it. You can do this in VS Code by selecting the Preserve Case toggle button that's found within the Find and Replace view. With this feature, you'll no longer have a need to go back and update the casing separately. If you like to write your code without seeing whitespace rendered, but at times you'd like to double check the indentation of your code, there's a setting just for you. Look for the Render Whitespace setting and change its value to the option called Selection. Then highlight some of your code and you'll see exactly how many spaces or tabs are being used. VS Code has received an update to product icons to be more uniform in style, color, and size. You'll notice these changes in the Explorer view, bottom panel view, and other various locations within the editor. The NPM Scripts Explorer has been part of VS Code, but you might not have noticed it before because it required you to enable a setting. Now when you open up a project that contains a package JSON file, it will automatically be visible within the Explorer view. With it, you can quickly and easily run any script you have set up for your project with just the click of a button. If you like to get a bird's eye view of your code using the minimap and could use that view to identify items you're searching for, well, you're in luck. The minimap provides improved visibility of your search results by highlighting them with a decoration. You can also change the color of this highlight with the Find Match Highlight setting. YouTube! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that you get more content like this. Also, what was your favorite feature in this release? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Happy coding, everyone.